Dateline, March 21st, 2010. This is Captain Ken with the latest new news development from SkyPilotClub.com. As further evidence of the forthcoming demise of the Empire, Huns and Visigoths are storming the gates in the guise of fundamentalist, tea-guzzling, anti-governmentalists, and under the leadership of would-be head of state Beck and Call, these loyal but duped Americans from all walks of life are screaming revolution now and down with our bloated government. In a blatant ploy of assuaging the restless public, sports spectacles are ramped up and huge amounts of money earned from ads and TV revenue is lavished upon professional performers and former players and coaches who are now ESPN analysts. May everyone making obscene salaries off the backs of plantation workers who toil in the limelight for the joy of playing the game and a chance to obtain a paid-for college diploma if they don't run afoul of the law or succumb to the academic requirements that they actually read the books, write the papers, and pass the tests. Yes. In response, the athletic department has built a glass and steel study center complete with private cubicles and personal academic advisors who it is reported do everything but take the tests, although there is rumor of a vast underground uh, receptacle, a theatrical department complete with made-up technicians and costume designers so you can't tell the athlete from the advisor come test time. And now... In a continuing move of the athletic department to take precedence over the whole university, the UO has been renamed PKU. Sports paraphernalia mogul Pill Knight, a former university athlete, used his influence and threat of withdrawing millions in monetary support to force out the AD Bill Moo and replace him with his personal pick, Pet Kilkenny, who immediately axed wrestling and restarted baseball. Then he had a new baseball stadium built, aptly named P.K. Park. After that, he raised the money for a new basketball arena. And with his P.K. assignments successfully completed, he retired. The football coach was armchaired up to, to A.D. His head football job was taken over by offensive coordinator P. Chip Kelly. And now, in the latest development, this new A.D., first he fired the basketball coach, then resigned to become a highly paid football analyst for ESPN, leaving openings at PKU for both a new athletic director and a new basketball coach. Just in. Former AD Bill Kilkenny has been named the interim athletic director and will pick the most qualified candidates for the open positions. Only those with the initials PK need apply.